So um, today we are going to go over armor sets. Um, now keep in mind these are all the armor sets that I can make. This is not every single one in the game, I don't think. Um, it might be, but I don't think so. What's going on fellow gamers? Cast Clips here. We are back on Small Land Survive the Wilds today. Um, I made some, uh, what is this, blackberry cake I think it's called? What is it? Blackberry cake. So it's one of the higher ones. It does uh, 70 and it leaves you full for like 720 seconds. So basically meaning that your food won't drop for that long. So we're going to go ahead and eat one of those because we are a little bit hungry here. Um, I did some exploring on my own. I, I don't know why I'm talking with a weird accent. Um, I did some exploring while, while I was on my own. Like without you guys, without recording. Uh, found a few things. Not necessarily like found I mean, I, I didn't really explore. I, I'm lying to you guys. I played the game, but I didn't do anything. I just farmed. But check this out. Boom. See that? You see it? You guys haven't seen those yet. So, um, today, we are going to go over armor sets. Um, now, keep in mind, these are all the armor sets that I can make. This is not every single one in the game, I don't think. Um, it might be, but I don't think so. So we're going to unequip that. We're going to start with the uh, the very basic one, which is the, the light one, which is right here. So there's it's only a three-piece set. We'll back up here a little bit. Go ahead and throw this bad boy on. This is your light set. There it is right there. This is actually what you start with. That's wrong. The arms are not right. The arms are the padded arms. That's wrong. Where's the arms? There's the arms. Let's unequip those. Whoops. Okay. Stop. Don't 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 do this to me. Alright, there we go. So you guys can see here that is the light armor set. Um, it is the very first armor set you get. I think you actually start with this one. I might be wrong about that, but I think this is what you start with. Um, we'll go over the stats too. So legs, they have uh, four protection and uh, plus two movement speed. You have your chest, which has eight protection and two movement speed. And then you have your um, arms, which are four protection and two movement speed. So... Then we have uh, the next set was our padded one, which you guys just seen the arms for them, but we'll do it again, of course. So padded arms, padded legs, padded wrap. This is also just a three-piece set here. So let's go ahead and throw all this on. This one actually helps uh, keep you warm. Um, so if we look here at the, uh, the chest piece, we have nine cold protection, but still only four protection as far as armor. Uh, for the legs, we have nine as well for cold, but four for the armor again, and for the chest, nine again for the cold, and eight for the chest, or eight for armor. So that is your padded armor there. Then we have our chitin one, I believe was the next one that we unlocked. Well, the one that we should have unlocked would have been this chitin one, so chitin, chitin, chitin. This is your first four piece that you will get in the game. Let's go ahead and throw all this on. Um, so this one comes with uh, your first resistance type. Uh, so you do have cold protection. You have well three cold protection for the or for the legs, um, twelve protection for the armor, and then you have edge resistance plus three. And this is for your legs. Um, we take a look at the head here. We have three cold protection, 12 armor protection, and three edge resistance. I think they're all three edge resistance, but of course it does stack. Now keep in mind, it also does take away from movement speed. I, don't, I didn't pay attention to the legs there. Yeah, so this does make you slower. Um, the legs also have that reduced movement speed as well as the, uh, the head. They all do. Okay, so and they all have the uh, plus three edge resistance. But uh, for the chest, it does three cold protection, 16 armor. Um, the arms have three cold protection, 12 armor. And obviously, this video is not going to be too entertaining, but it is up to you guys if you want to actually stay. 
Um, for those of you that do, thank you very much. If you don't, then it was nice of you to at least stop by. Uh, what do we have next? Next should have been the... I think it would have been the re... Nope. Yeah, it would have been the regal one. I'm missing something here. There we go. So this would have been your next armor set. This is the first quote-unquote cool-looking one that I think looks okay. Um, I There's definitely better, uh, but these do look okay. Um, so they all have uh, plus three edge resistance as well and plus three cold protection. But the... Um, the headpiece has 20 armor, the legs has 20 armor, arms have 20 armor, and the um, chest has 24 armor. So this is, like I said, the first cool one that I think that you'll find. Uh, just real quick, so which one did we just do? We did the, the chitin. So the chitin armor you will get from uh, Caleb here. Caleb is the one that will give you your Chitin armor. Drustana, Drustana out there, that is the one that you'll get this Regal armor from. Um, and I think they also gave us the... Maybe they didn't give us padded. I think... Hmm. I honestly don't remember who gave us the padded armor. I think it might have been Herney as soon as you uh, run into him. Um, I could have swore Drustana had two things of armor. Maybe not. I don't remember where all the armor came from, so I'll be honest with that. Let's unequip that. Whoops, I didn't mean to throw it in there. I just wanted to unequip it. All right, and then uh, the next set that you will get is your... Oh, actually, so the, this is the very first set that you start with. I didn't realize that, uh, that it was a different set. So this is your Traveler's one, uh, Traveler's armor. Um, the gauntlet, or the uh, light armor is what you will get after this. Um, it's not horrible, but, um, it does, uh, it does help with, uh, you know, starting out the game and everything. I don't think I've seen anyone running around naked in the game, but it looks like they all give, uh, three cold protection for the arms. You have four armor for the chest. You have eight armor and for the legs, you have four armor, but they all have three cold. Uh, then you will find what used to be, and yes, I said used to be. My favorite armor, which is this one, the Silk Weave. I still like the way it looks. It is very cool looking, um, in my opinion. But it is not the coolest anymore, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong. still looks really good. I like it. Uh, this is the Silk Weave armor. Um, this you will get from... Uh, I need to take a look at her name. I don't remember her name. Um, but they all it all has... Um, Sorry about that, I had to cough. It all has piercing resistance and movement speed. So on each piece of armor, you're going to have three piercing resistance, and you're going to have plus two to movement speed. It's also all going to have uh, three cold protection, but this is the first significant armor uh, that I guess you'll get. I mean, the, the Regal one wasn't too bad as well, but this one seemed to make the difference in the game for me. But then again, I also did jump to this. Um... Technically, I probably shouldn't be going over the stats with you with this with you guys on this one because I did increase it. So these are see how these ones here have the little one on them. Those are increased uh, stats. So the arms, which I did not increase, start with uh, 20 um, protection there. I think the rest of these also have 20. So this one should have been 20. This one should have been 20, and this one is, should have been 24. But as you can see, every time you increase it by one, it looks like it goes up by four for the armor. So legs, head, and arms should all be 20, and then the chest piece should be 24. Um, but these three are increased, so 24, 24, and 28. But I do like the way the armor looks. Um, very cool, in my opinion. Um, and then plus, if you add in the wings, I think it just looks that much better. Which, the wings are going to add a, uh, a bonus to anything that you're doing. So... Let's go ahead and put this back. We have two more to go over out of this chest. So the next set that you would get would be... I think you kind of... No, I think you still get these first. So this is your primal armor. Um, I made this, have not used it at all. I don't know how good it is. Um, 
but I made it because I wanted to show, show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I personally don't like it, but I'm sure someone out there does. It was actually pretty expensive to make because of all the bone. Um, and I think it has really good protection. I wouldn't say like the best, but I think it's good just because of the, I think it takes heavy chitin and, and bone. Um, but here you go. This is not upgraded. Oh, and actually it's not even that good. I thought it was. Uh, cold protection is not bad. So headpiece nine protection or nine cold protection, uh, 12 armor. Blunt resistance is plus three and you have negative two movement speed. So that blunt resistance and negative two movement speed is probably going to be on all of them. Uh, looks like the cold protection of nine is going to be on all of them too. But for the head, the legs, and the arms, it looks like you have 12 armor. And then the chest piece, you have 16 armor. So there is your primal tunic, or sorry, your primal armor. Uh, and then we have the armor that I was using for quite a while, just because I like the way this one looks as well. Um, and it is actually very decent as far as the armor and everything. Um, so we'll go ahead and equip this. This is the iron wing armor. You'll get this around the time that you're fighting your, your black wasp. Um, in fact, these wings, the sapphire gliding wings come from the black wasp. So it just kind of completes the set here, but it looks really cool to me. Uh, but you have four cold protection on everything. You have uh, plus three edge resistance on everything. The chest piece is 32 armor. Um, keep in mind, this is not upgraded. That is a significant jump, uh, 32 armor there. You have 28 armor in the arms, 28 armor in the head, and 28 armor in the legs. So I actually used this one for quite a while while I was doing stuff. Um, very cool looking, in my opinion, of course. All right, and then we have three more pieces to go over. One of them I just got, which I still think it's probably weaker than what I have. Um, the one that I've been using the most recently, I'm sure you guys have seen it. This is the bone armor. Um, it looks similar to what we were just wearing, except more ant-like instead of bee-like, I think. Um, but very cool looking in my opinion as well. Uh, I do still like the way the black armor looks over this one, but I am using this one because it's technically um i think it was the cold protection let me see here yeah the cold protection is why i started using this one uh more just because like out here like while it's raining right now so well actually i guess the storm hasn't started yet uh when it starts storming if you're not inside you start freezing um with how much health we have we we don't die but um it does drop fairly fast and that's with this cold protection. So I think even if we use the other cold protection, it'd still be very close. But as you can see, uh, they all have six cold protection. They have three piercing resistance. Um, and then the chest piece has an additional four armor. So they all have 20 armor chest piece has 32, but this is your bone armor here. And then, actually this one we're going to keep on us because this is what we're currently using. I might switch it out for one of these. Um, well, not one of them. Well, yeah, for one of them, but uh, we'll see here. So these are two new pieces of armor or two new sets of armor that I have not shown you guys at all. I just recently made these when I was playing without recording. So this is the Formic armor. Um, this one you get from... Uh, I think it was Melkar. That's not his name. Mermic. I think it was from him. Um, Lysandra is where you get the spider weave. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, I think that's it. But yeah, so you see how there's a storm right now. If we come out here, if you look down in the bottom left where it says comfortable, you see that start dropping. So eventually it will go to cold like so and then it'll go to freezing once it gets down to freezing you start losing health it's not from the storm but it is from the weather that you start losing health so you'll start gaining your health back once you get back into at least cold um and then of course it'll go back to comfortable because i'm inside and everything but that's why we need that cold protection uh so the formic armor this is by far in my opinion the one that looks the best um but it's still lacking with the cold protection and um, overall armor. So this, like I said, this is your Formic armor here. Um, it looks very similar to the, uh, what was it, the Iron Wing, except it's more like a, a bronzish color, which I like. Um, and it looks really good with the wings as well. If we throw the wings on there, 
Um, it looks like a mix between like a wasp and an ant basically, uh, but I do like it. So chest piece, well, of course, everything's going to have the four cold protection um, and the plus three blunt resistance. But as far as the protection overall, you only have 28 on the chest, which the other one did 32. Um, this uh, bone armor here does 32 and the iron wing does 32, which is why I don't, excuse me, which is why I don't use this. Um, for the arms, legs, and head, it only has 24 in each. And of course, I can upgrade these, but if I'm going to upgrade these, why not just upgrade the higher one, even though I like the way this one looks. Uh, it just depends, I guess, on how you guys want to um, use the, the armor and stuff. I mean, if you're really set on using a specific set, of course, you can increase whichever one you want. Um, and then, of course, this last one, have not shown you guys, like I said, this is pyrite armor. Um, so this is actually really cool looking. Um, I still like the other one better, but this is more like if you want to look like a knight, in my opinion. Uh, it looks very metal. Um, I don't like the, the helmet too much, but the rest of it is not bad. Um, but if you look here, once again, 28 protection. Um, everything's going to have 5 cold protection and uh, plus 3 piercing. But you have 28 on the head legs and arms and then it's probably 32 on the chest yep there you go so technically the bone armor is still better than this um just because of that cold protection so the cold protection here is five cold protection on the bone armor is six stats other than that are the same um but it's the cold protection that will help you out so i mean you guys can use this if you want uh, i have not upgraded the bone armor but in my opinion right now stat wise so not even in my opinion, stat-wise, the bone armor is still the best armor that I have found. Uh, I don't know if there's other armors in the game. I think there is. Well, I know there is at least one, um, which I have to collect all of the uh, all of the chest pieces in order to get it. Um, and then if you guys are still here, you guys, uh, if you just want to see the armor, that's, that's it. You guys can take off. I appreciate you, like I said, stopping by. If you guys want to see some gameplay, go ahead and stick around. We're going to go ahead and get into that right now. Um, wanted to uh, show you guys some stuff that's behind me, which is why I have not turned around. It's a big old surprise. So let's come over here and kind of reveal it slowly. So if we kind of move over here, you see that guy right there? See that gecko? That's my gecko. And then if we kind of move over a little bit more, you see that uh, that black wasp up there? That's my black wasp. So all of these are my pets. Oh, yeah, and I forgot I had a spider, too. So much for the uh, surprise on that. Um, so, yeah, so all of these are my pets. Um, these two, the two black ones, are upgraded. Um, they are from the North. Get out of here. Uh, this one, even though he's not in my party, he bothers me a lot. Um, I don't know why he flies at me like that. Um, but these two are upgraded levels, the black ones. Um, they're just that color. Well, technically, he's not from the north. Um, we can get a red one of these, which would be from the north. I have not seen any jumping spiders from the north, but it looks like you can only... Or, sorry, not jumping spiders, wolf spiders. Um, but uh, I have not seen any wolf spiders up north, so I don't know. Same thing with the damselflies. I'm not sure about them. Um, grasshopper, you guys seen me get. Uh, the black wasp I got from, as soon as you go through the secret door, you come out right here, if I'm not mistaken, actually right in this area and you come up here, there's a fence. I literally got him right there. Um, the wolf spider I got from over by Lysandra. Um, I just flew over here, found a wolf spider right in this area where I have this marker at. Um, that's not what that marker's for. That marker is just there for, uh, for me to remember that by Lysandra there is, uh, this is where you can get like silk and stuff using the, uh, what do they call the shears? Um, the damselfly, I don't remember if you guys seen me get the damselfly. I don't know if I was recording when that happened. Um, I just kind of stumbled across it though. I honestly still don't even remember where they're at. Um, I don't like them though. They don't attack. Their, their flying sucks. Like, they're just overall t technically bad. I haven't really used the lizard, um, but him I got from the sewers because if you guys see his level there, you guys can see that. Level 100. That is correct. That is not a glitch. He is the highest level lizard I have seen in the game. He came from the sewers. If you go to the sewers uh, over here by the Black Hornet. 
Um, I think I showed you guys I went down there and before he was level 97. Um, so it looks like the levels do kind of rotate. This is where I was getting the uh, the abdomen um, spiders or the spider abdomens. Um, he was down in there. He was like a little boss except he wasn't like hitting any harder or anything like that. So I figured I'd go and grab him from there, which here he is. Um, I have not leveled any of them. have not done anything with any of them. Uh, the spider's kind of cool. Um, none of them can like climb walls or anything like that, which is kind of uh, upsetting. Um, but the, the spider and the wasp both poison their prey. Uh, they both only have, well, actually I take that back. The spider only has one attack. Uh, the lizard, everything has one attack except the damselfly, which has no attacks. And the wasp technically has two attacks. Um, the party, you're not following, right? Did I take you off follow? You're off follow. And then here, of course, is our wasp. So like I said, we got him up there, so you can see his level here, 95. So, um, they still, uh, how can I explain it? They still don't feel like a higher level or anything. This dude needs to stop freaking out. They still don't feel like a higher level or anything. They still take damage the same. They do the same type of damage, um, like even with the higher levels. I hope that that's something that ends up being changed, but I don't know if it will. Um... But yeah, these are all of my, my tamed creatures at the moment. Um, I am going to be looking into moving to possibly a different location. Uh, for now, this is working, though, because it's kind of in the middle of everything. Like, we're right here. And right now, we're actually going up north a lot, which is up here. There's no trees up here, so this is technically the best spot. But we might try to move back over here. I think there's a tree, like, right here or something. The secret door is here, and that's the only way to get up there for now. Um... I did hear about, which I think you guys seen it, um, up here where Malik is, uh, he offers a way to um, get rid of the uh, the hawk that will uh, come at you, but you need 10 uh, stink glands. I think we only have like three, maybe four. Uh, I guess that's probably one of the things we can work on today. Um, yep, I came into this uh, video not really thinking about what we were going to be doing, but that might be... Oh, we have 20? That's not right. Those are poison glands. Uh, oh, also. Haha. -ha, see that right there? Look at that. Spider Matriarch Fang. Guess where I got that from, guys? Huh? Some of you smart Alex are probably like, oh, Spider Matriarch. I mean, technically you're right, but... Uh, that's besides the point, though. I got that from the spider that killed us before. Um, if you guys watch the, there it is. So we have five poison, or uh, yeah, poison stink glands. Um, I got that from the spider that killed us before. Like I said, I was just running around exploring, uh, doing stuff. So down in this area where it's white right here, there is a, like a, basically a little small spider area. Um, there is a giant, it looks like a black widow. I don't know if it is, I can't remember honestly. It looks like a black widow basically. Um, and it destroyed us the first time we ran into it. We kind of stumbled across it, and it just took us out. Um, but this time, we killed it. And then over here, this event, let's see if we can go and do this event. So the last time I went to this event, I think it was this one, um, it shows that there's two things that you need to do, but it doesn't say what. I don't know if we have to kill some things or what. Um under the ground and I could not figure out how to get down there. I don't know if they glitched down there or if maybe there's a tunnel under me or what. But we're going to go see if we can find that again real quick. Because I am trying to do more and more of the uh, world events. That way we can get some contribution to give to uh, some of the people and stuff. So we can unlock more stuff. And it looks like it's already fall again. So winter is coming. <clears throat> Which is why we're keeping the bone armor on. That's not the only reason, but it's easier just to keep the bone armor on. Alright, uh, I think we're pretty much over it. A little more, maybe? A lot more, maybe? Oh yeah, a lot more. I think it's on the other side of that tree. It's over where all the poisonous mushrooms are. Which I'm pretty sure are on the other side of the tree.
Yeah, other side of the tree. I stopped right here because I wanted to see if anything was going to come out of that hole. Because if not, I wanted to go look in there. Like I said, um, yeah, these, it's the same. No, it's not the same ones because these ones are up on top. Okay. Okay, so we're fine here then. Maybe they did glitch the last time. Like I said, there was a thing here last time and it just showed them way under the map. And I was like, okay, like, how do I get down there? What do I do? What are these? Oh, two rhino beetles? Okay, yeah, they had to have glitched because that one looks a little bit glitched. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Oh, don't glitch under there again. Come back up. There he went. He's gone. Now I'm not going to be able to finish this. Well, that's uh, broken. Oh, you're a horned beetle. You're not even a rhino beetle. Ow! But you attack the same way. Ow! Holy crap, dude. Dude, I just healed. Wow, I did not expect them to be that strong. Now I gotta go put all my stuff back. That sucks. I mean, either way, we can't do it because the one glitched under the map. So, that sucks either way. Bummer. And now you guys see uh, what it's like to die and come back. And now you need to go get our stuff. Yep. Alright, let's... uh. Oh, if my stuff fell under the map, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, I can't even mark it. All right, we'll just leave the event marked. Um, I'm going to be so mad if my stuff fell under the map, too. I don't think it did. I think it's just the way the beetles move in that area and the way the terrain is. But, yeah, they were way under there last time. Did you see how the one, like, the little dot for it or whatever got way small? And it was way below us. So that's how they were the last time. And I was ran around for, like, an hour trying to figure out how to get down there. Eventually, I was like, ah, it's got to be a glitch. Either that or I'll figure it out another time or Google it or something. And I never did either one. Um, but as you can see now, I figured out that it is a glitch. They just uh, clipped through the map. Which kind of sucks, honestly. I mean, it doesn't suck too bad because they're kind of hard to kill. So we just won't mess with them. There's a lot, of, a lot of other ones that are a lot easier. I mean, you guys were with me that time that I had to kill like 20 ants or whatever. That was difficult, but not where they hit me three times and I'm dead difficult. Should be right on the other side of this tree, I think. Right down here with all the mushrooms. Oh, and he's still there, too. He didn't fall with his friend. I don't know if I can get um, stuff for killing just one. And we can try it. I'll be a little more cautious this time. Whoops. Dude. He's going to kill me again. Did I get all my stuff? I did. Uh -huh. Alright, let's try this again. I'm surprised that the other one glitched under if he's just staying up here. Yeah, see that one way down there. Like, I came over here because it even had the marker. Like, the uh, the circle with the exclamation point had it up here by this mushroom. And when I came up here, I, I looked down I saw the two dots and I was like, what the hell? But I couldn't figure out how to get down there. Alright, uh, oops, did not mean to do that. We're gonna use our sword. Dude, you still hit me? I mean, if you're just gonna stand there stunned, I'm gonna keep going. I wonder if it's because he's in the water. Because um, I was in the sewers and there was like a spider that like went a tiny bit in the water and instantly died. So I wonder if he's glitched because he's in the water now. I mean, I'm fine with it. I don't care. I'm going to get me some contribution points. The bad thing is it's not going to give me the contribution points until this event ends. So it'll end, it'll end up running out of time and I'll probably get like half the contribution points. I think. And you didn't even give me anything unique. 
But yeah, so I had this circle here, and I was like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do here? And then I looked down, and I saw the two dots down there, and I was like, uh... So I literally ran around this entire area looking for, like, holes in the ground, a tunnel, anything where I could, like, get down below, and I couldn't find anything. So did that automatically give me any contribution yet? It did not. Available contribution, we have zero. Um, also, I did give 36 to Justana before. Um, didn't mean to, honestly. I did not mean to. Uh, I was trying to figure out what was going on, and I was uh, trying to look at the different things, and I accidentally hit the button too many times, and it just gave it all to her, and I was like, all right, whatever. Um, so look at that. We probably need that one, chit and reinforcement. Looks like any armor you wear is going to be increased by 10%. Uh, we definitely need the improved tools. And what is this? Creatures have their health increased by 25%. We want that one too. So basically we want all of them. It's just going to take some time. Uh, but this is the uh, this is the great sword. I think I showed it to you guys. Um, if you hit R2, these are the light attacks. It keeps going, but it does drain your stamina. And then the heavy attack, it's pretty heavy, but it's very slow. This is slower than even the regular, like the regular sword or anything else we've used. And I can't unmark it. Like oh, because I'm right on top of it probably. Um. So let's go ahead and head up north. We'll see if we can find uh, another chess piece or something along those lines. See see what's going on up there. How's our armor looking after he hit us? Oh, we're still good. I feel like we run faster with a one-handed equip. I don't know if that's true. I just feel that way. There's a bug. We're not going to mess with him. Got some bees up ahead. We're just going to run past them. Make sure we get some stamina back so we can outrun them. For those of you that don't know, you can outrun the bees, as you can see. The things that you can outrun is the wasp and the hornet. Uh, which, nope, that's a bee too. There's a wasp queen up here. Which, we've killed her before, so I'm not really worried about doing it again. But we could do it again. I don't think you guys seen me kill her. We have a f couple heads, though, from her. She's over there fighting an ant right now. Haha. -ha. I should stay here and grab all these uh, flowers for the uh, for the petals. Excuse you. Push me to the side. Also, the way we are going, if anyone wants a dragonfly, there is a dragonfly down here by the secret door. Um, once again, I mentioned this in the last one. Um, I don't know if the uh, I don't know if the secret door is here without you having access to it, like without it being highlighted on your map the way it is on mine. Um, but it might be something you guys ooh that actually hurt. Uh, might be something you guys want to at least take a look at, and see what happens. Um, also, don't jump through there. Like, don't jump up that way and through there. Uh, for some reason, you'll hit the water in the river, and I almost drowned in midair. So, I would suggest actually following the path down through here. Um, it does get dark. I mentioned this before, if you guys seen it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see on YouTube, but I can see perfectly fine here just because my gamma is turned up a little bit. But I know it's so dark on YouTube, we'll go ahead and use this torch because I don't use it for anything else anyway. That way you guys can at least see. Uh, we talked about running through here before. If you guys want to know anything about in here, go ahead and take a look at the previous videos where I think I listed it as like secret door or something like that or heading to the north, something like that. No. Nope. 
Can you fit in here? Haha, -ha. oh, he can. I mean, honestly, I think they can fit in all of these. We could have kept running straight, but we're fine. I think he gave up. Combat music stopped. And then we're going to go up. And there's the exit. So this is where the uh, the red grasshoppers are that I was talking about that you guys can get. Um, they are higher level. I think mine, my green one is a level 4. These are like at least 14, 15, I think. That's a 12. Uh, I would say it should be one over here somewhere. But obviously they're still at least higher than the green ones, so... There's a 14. Alright, and then we came out down there. So if you just make a little U-turn, come up here. You uh, go follow the path, and then once you get to the fence, you'll see your first black wasp up here if you guys want a black wasp. Uh, like I said, they don't hit harder. They don't poison more. Um, they just have more health, I think. Um, but that, that one right there is basically the one that I tamed. Can't even see his level. Uh, but this is the one that I tamed right here, and he ended up being whatever level mine is, which I think was like a 95. That one looked that 100. There you go. So if you guys want a wasp, high-level wasp, come up here to the north if you have access to it, and grab it here. Um, and then we're going to kill us some stink bugs, because we need... I can't remember. It was like 10 or 20 glands. I think it's like 20. I just hate fighting these things. In fact, we should probably drink a poison thingy. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, you just keep poisoning, dude, because you're not going to do much damage to me like that. And I will uh, bring this out. And we'll just kill you this way. There we go. And there's one poison gland. 15 more to go. It's probably, it's, I think it's like 14. Come out. What's up, dude? You... Okay, well... Okay, we're just gonna back up and try to get, um... Stamina back. Let him do his little poison thing. As long as he's not doing the, uh, the tackle move, it looks like we're not being hurt very much by his poison because we drank the poison resistance. Which is fine. There we go. Oh, you didn't even drop a poison gland. Wow. I didn't realize that they have a chance of not dropping them. Hmm. Not cool, man. Not cool. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh. What's that? There's a home up there. All right, so we're also going to keep an eye out for uh, keep an eye out for chess pieces. Um, may as well come over here and see if we find one. I hear a bug. Oh, it's a wasp. Chess piece? Something up there. Oh, okay, okay, they see me. All right. I'm watching our health here because these guys do eventually hit like kind of hard not hard but they i don't know their attacks kind of surprise you also with there being this many i am a little bit worried not gonna lie let's use a bandage May as well use a potion too.
Whoa, whoa, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the air, guys. Potion, potion, drink it. I can't roll. I can't do anything right now. That's not cool, man. They're cheating. They're cheating. Drink another potion. There we go. They knocked me out. Thank you. That was BS. Wasted potions. Just trying to get out of there. Might get dark all of a sudden. Oh, they're dropping all these hoots. Oh, I can't even get some of this stuff now. Oh, wait. Can I get the hoots? Got the hoots. Something else up in there. Um, Alright, where did all the rest of these guys drop? Did they not drop anything? Did it fall up here? I think that's it, I guess. Whatever. There's a chess piece. Thank you for the black pawn. Alright, we'll use a bandage here. Probably should use one of their bandages, but it's fine. Only eight hoots. Okay. Um, I don't remember what we need this stuff for, but uh, we do need Raishi leather, which you get from these mushrooms. So we'll go ahead and take this. Um, for those of you just joining once again, I just want to point out that you only get these, um, well, not that you only get them. I've only seen these mushrooms growing on the roots of the, uh, the trees. So, like, you won't see them on the ground or anything. So, if you see roots, follow them. You might get some of these mushrooms. There looks like there might be more up there. Yeah, there's definitely more. Oh, it's a light pole. I was like, what is that? All right, all these are going to slide down. We're just going to let them all slide down. We'll pick them up in a second. And I will show you guys my stats here in a second because we're going to put our levels into some stuff here. Because I think we are... Actually, I know we're higher level from the last time you guys seen my stats. I don't know how much higher because I don't even remember the level I was the last time. So if we look at our stats, you can see I am level 57. So we're going to get our strength up to 57, and then we have six points left. So once again, we're going to distribute that evenly between constitution and endurance. So three here, three here, and then apply. There we go. I have not messed with this tree that much. I haven't even been on the other side of this tree. Um, I did hear, I mean, I seen a video. I don't remember what it was, though, but I think that there's something under the playground. There's like like a hidden thing under the playground. I think it's hidden. I don't remember what it is. Hey, come here. Oh, you gonna do your other attack, huh? Oh, ow! He got me that time. Ooh, did he get me? Ow! That time he did. All right, you're dead. Thank you for the gland. I could have swore I picked up one of their bandages. Oh, I did. Okay. Use. Alright, so the playground is over here somewhere? Over there. Need to figure out how to get under it. I don't remember what's under it. There's some more of those mushrooms, but we're too far past them. How do I get under the playground? So there's probably a tunnel either in this wall that I'm standing on or you might have to go off the side of the fence and go under there. 
or maybe there's just a hole in the ground somewhere. a new army dude I didn't see him last time I will take you sir thank you another pawn here oh it's a bishop I think we already had that one forty eight Jesus Am I doing less damage with this than I would be with a sickle? Mm, no. Let's use their bandage again. So there's another part of the playground. Actually, I think it might have been on the other side of the tree where I didn't think we discovered. Um, the If you guys missed it, this um, Malik dude, uh, he tells us about um, the blue tit, which is the bird, the blue jay looking bird. Um, he tells us that you can get it if you bring him all of the chess piece, but on top of that, you would need to find an egg. Uh, there is part of the playground that's over there, I think, on the other side, where there is an egg, but one of the blue tits will come out and attack you, so, uh, we're not ready for that. I could probably take them, but, um, I want to just, uh, you know, take my time, not get too far into it too fast. I don't think I've been to this part of the playground over here. Actually, speaking of which, I don't know if it's under the slide even, so it could be over here. And I just, because I mean, this is all playground right here, I guess. Yeah, see, because there's swings over there. There's another one of those mushrooms. There's a whole bunch more mushrooms down there. There's also people down there. I think one of the people seen me. No, he's... Oh, they're attacking the bees. Wait, those, are those bees? What kind of bees are those? I don't think I've seen those type of bees before. Oh, also, we're still looking for... Um, I wonder if that's it right there. We're still looking for ironwood so that we can make some of the uh, some of the new stuff. I don't know where you get ironwood from. So maybe we will find that out in this one. Because I don't think any of this stuff right here gives ironwood. Honestly, I want to say... Um, I don't know this for a fact, but I want to say it's probably up here on the road. Because I don't know... Like none of these things I would think have ironwood. They all look like normal stuff. There's a stink bug. I need to kill him. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's eat. Let's take a poison thingy. There we go. What's up, buddy? plants over here, strawberries, cyclamen, cyclamen, I don't know what that stuff's called. There's another stink bug. Come here, buddy. 
Friendly? 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 He's not friendly. Ow. Hmm. I was hoping he wouldn't hit me if I just kept circling him. There's a clan. Thank you. May as well use another bandage. That's regular wood, right? Yeah. Someone's car alarm's going off outside. It kind of sounds like mine. It's not. Ah! Oh, you're one of the big guys, too. You're one of the elites. Oh, hey. Oh, no, I missed it. No. Nope. Yeah, see, even this armor, like the highest armor that I have, and it's still... Oh, you know what? I need to find out what kind of damage his axe does. And then maybe I can wear, like, whatever type of resistance is for that. You know? That should help. I would think. Well, the vent failed, so I guess we got no constitution at all for it. Jesus, dude. That was our last bandage. Hello. Time to go. How far are you going to chase me? Too far, because you're still coming. Okay, well, they cheated because he brought back up. That's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. No. Ah, I got poisoned. Oh, I still have poison resistance. I didn't think I did. Thank you. Where'd that bird come from? The tree, maybe? So, here's a question. If I go back over here and I attack this dude again, is he going to have full health? Did he already heal up? Oh, there's the bird. So, maybe I got too close to the swing set over there. Stay over here. You have full health, dude? You don't. Okay. Ow! But you're still hitting me. And there's more of you. We're not doing this. Alright, we'll stay away from over there because that's, yep, that's where the bird is. We're not going to stop and fight this just because we have people chasing us. I want to see what kind of bees these are. They're just normal bees. Oh, a captain's thingy. Oh, a knight. Sweet, white knight. Ooh, that was close. How low were you? In the 90s, okay. I guess we're going somewhere we haven't been before. Up there. 
That's where, oh yeah, you see that blue bird up there? That's the nest. Oh god. Oh, this is not where I wanted to go. That's where I want to go, to the road. I didn't realize this was all water over here. I'll have to jump out and kill myself. Okay. Um, poop. If I follow this, we're going to run into that bird. Whatever. Guess we're going to run into the bird. Maybe he won't notice us. Maybe he won't notice with his bird eye that, you know, there's a bug running next to him. Nope, not what I meant to do. There we go. In fact, I should make a house out here somewhere. I don't think I have all the materials for it right now, but I should. What is that? You guys see that down there? Oh wait, is that the is that the merchant? It is. Uh, I don't think I can glide that far. Let's go up here more. Yeah, I don't think I can glide out that far. We're going to try it, though. Oh, can I land in the tree at least? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, hello. That was close. Okay. All right, we got this. Yeah, we got this. I mean, even if we don't make it there, we'll land in the sand down here. On the, on the land. Is this flint? I hear bugs. Dude, you got a nice little cove up in here. A nice little spot. Alright. You have anything different from when you were at the other area? Hello there. Can I see what you have to sell? I already bought everything. Yeah, so he doesn't have anything extra. Alright, well. That defeats the purpose of the merchant. Well, in this area anyway. It's okay though. It's alright. It's not going to let us go across that bridge. It's going to be an invisible wall there. Hope they expand this game. Is this flint? If so, this is a lot of flint here. It is. There's so much here. What's this other stuff that's over here? Is this ironwood? Never seen it. It is sulfur. Iron pickaxe are better. I think we have an iron one. What do we need sulfur for? Refined sulfur. Okay. Uh, if there's sulfur by the all this flint, I would think we probably need some flint too to refine it, but I'm not going to grab any of it. We should be fine. Looking for iron wood. These are just regular stone, right? Yeah. Oh, what's with that big dark cloud? Weird. Is that iron wood? Or sulfur? That is a plant I've never seen before, so it might have iron wood. Let's grab the sulfur, though. I'm a little worried though. I see no creatures in this area. Like there's nothing here. That's not that's not normal. In fact, we need ironwood to make the new pickaxe. Um, oh, is that a scorpion? Sure, whoa, lag. Sure looks like one. Okay, all right, so there's scorpions, got it. I'm assuming they are poisonous. Ironwood, yes. 
What? Pyrite Eagle Head? Oh, they're just structures. I thought it was like a piece of armor. I was like, oh, it could look like an eagle? Okay, but now we know where to get the ironwood. We're not getting much out of it, though. Or much out of this. Which one is the, um... Is it the dark one? It is, okay. And we're only getting one each. Alright, let's... Let's test this guy out. Friend, oh, you're big. Friendly? Not friendly. Fast, too. Oh, wow. You didn't poison me. I'm assuming he has a second attack with that pincer with the with the stinger. There it is. He's only level one too. Oh god. He hurts. He's definitely stronger than other stuff we fought. Oh, there it is. And I'm poisoned now. Okay. See, that makes sense though. Like why why is it not like that with um with other stuff though? Oh wow, he's hurting us bad. He's tameable. I need to find a scorpion treat. Or how to make one, I mean. Glad I have all these health things with me. I just want to hurry up and kill him, because if not, he's going to end up killing us. There we go. Oh. Scorpion Telson? Poison glands, poison gland, poison gland. Wow, a lot of poison glands. Okay. Alright. I don't think I have any more of their bandages, do I? I don't. So I only have five health elixirs left. Alright, well let's come over here. Let's grab this iron wood. I wonder if there's anything that gives specifically just iron wood. Because these are only giving one each. And there's... Oh wait, there's two. Not that that was a lot either, but... More than one, right? break any of these. I'm assuming there's more scorpions out here somewhere because there's a lot of open space probably to run around while you're fighting them. There's a glowing mushroom over there. There's more sulfur below us too. Grab the sulfur, because I don't know what we're going to need it for. And I have, um, I have another 20 bandages and another uh, 20 health elixirs already made. I just didn't bring them. Because I wanted to keep like a full stack at the house for whatever reason in case in case I need it, you know, like I die and I'm like, oh man, I'm going to need health when I go back to get my stuff. At that point, I would probably bring it, but it's just there as a precaution, like already made. What's in this log? I hear a scorpion or something, don't I? 
What am I hearing? What is that? I don't like that. There's like dark coals in the ground. What am I hearing? Is it above me? Is there something else in the area that I don't see? No. What's with these dark holes though? Is it just this? Is it like a patch like that? I'll check that in a minute. Let's go grab this sulfur and the ironwood over here. Uh, keep in mind, this is the first time um, that we are exploring this area, so I don't know anything about anything over here. Oh, I just realized these things have thorns on them. And if you are sticking around for the gameplay, I would like to say thank you. It means a lot. Um, <clears throat> I apologize if it's not exciting or anything, but obviously the game gets... Any survival game is going to get a little bit grindy. Uh, I don't normally show you guys all this stuff that I'm doing right now, but... I just wanted to make sure I had something coming out for you guys. And then, of course, for those who just want to see the armor and everything, that was at the beginning of the video, so... Um, if you guys are still here and you're at least enjoying the video and enjoying my soothing voice, you know, because I'm not half sick right now, um, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and uh, the notification bell icon, just because it helps with everything. What kind of mushrooms we use? Edible mushrooms. I should probably build a house in here. I mean, it counts as a house, so if it like if it does start storming, I could just run in here. But I don't know if anything else comes in here or is in this area. So if I have a house inside of a house, I think it'll help. <clears throat> There's another world event. Oh, speaking of which, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Yeah, we got no contribution points for killing just the one bug. I guess you have to actually finish the entire um, event. It's kind of dumb. I mean, don't get me wrong, it makes sense, but... Like, it's not my fault that the bug glitched under the ground, you know? Oh, a vehicle. Okay. Is that just stone? Yeah. Okay, so there's more scorpions. Oh, I was trying to get up there. All right, let's go see what these dark spots are. I don't think they're anything. I think it's just like little patches like the one that was up here, like this. Um, but what I'm thinking, I doubt that they would put this in the game. What I'm thinking is they're like, like little spider holes. Because, I mean, we are technically in the desert. Um... I don't remember what kind of spiders... Yeah, they're, they're not, though. Uh, I don't remember what kind of spiders do it, but spiders will, like, basically make a little hole in the ground, and then they'll make, like, a little cover, and when something walks over it, they'll pop out and eat them. I was thinking it might have been one of those, but I guess that's a little too ambitious. Looks like we need to eat some more food. We're already almost on another level. How much XP did we get for killing that scorpion? Because we had just gotten a level, didn't we? Can I go up there? I don't think so. Oh, this is where the, the road is. That's a nocturnal spider because it's nighttime. I don't think it's a wolf spider. That's a tarantula. I mean, it definitely looks like a tarantula, but let's go see. Let's go take a closer look. And look, there's a pyrite over there, it looks like. Are you a tarantula? You are a tarantula. 
Are you friendly? Probably not. You don't have a level either. Let's see how hard you hit. Because I'm curious. Hey, buddy. There you are. I know I said I wanted to see how hard he hit, but I'm just dodging him. I want to see... I didn't mean I want to see how hard he hits, but I want to see if I can, like, fight him. I, I don't know if he'd be, like, a... considered, like, a boss or something. He seems pretty easy. He's also taking a lot of damage, too. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. That, that was a little bit big. You're good, you're good. You're good. You're doing a lot better than I thought you would. Come on. Calling for help? It's like the raptors in Jurassic Park. Ah! No, oh, you're dead. What'd you drop? Spider head. And insect egg. Oh, you were a mama. Okay. I said, oh, you were a mama because... The game clearly specifies that uh, only females drop the um, drop insect eggs. I th honestly, I think what they should do, like with these little bosses and stuff that they have, obviously not that one. I don't think that was a boss. Um, but I think they should have a spider that has like a whole bunch of babies on its back. What is that? What is this? Scorpion shit. Different chitin from the other one. Scorpion. Oh, that's the Telson. Okay. So what don't I need? Because um, I need to get rid of something to pick up this thing. Uh, here, we can eat this. There we go. Perfect. And then this is pyrite, right? Pyrite. Okay. So we don't have room for the pyrite, so we're not going to get it. We just made room for sulfur, so we'll get this. I still don't like that we haven't come across much of the ironwood, because it seems like we need a lot of it. I mean, I know there was a couple back there that I didn't get, but I just mean like, like each one's only dropping one, and then it's rare from what it seems like that it's going to drop two. So, a little, a little sketchy on that part. Unless, like I said, there's another plant that drops it and I just haven't found the plant or I just haven't chopped it down or something. Yeah, see, we got two from that. Two from that. Watch, now they're all going to give us two. Yep, two from that. And one. Okay. So can we get up on that road? Because it looks like we can right here. Maybe. We're not even on the road yet. I thought this was the road and it was just destroyed. But it looks like the road's up here. Like this more gray looking stuff. Alright, let's go up here though. Yeah, see the road's over there. What is that? Is that a turret? Is it going to point at me? Okay, I kept going. Thank God. That does look like a turret though. I'm a little worried about that because I really don't want to die. Oh, there's another one. Okay, interesting. 
What is that in front of that? Is there a secret here? Oh, that's just... No, oh, that's death waiting to happen. Oh, wow. So much for an invisible barrier. This one tells you, hey, there's a barrier here. What happens if I touch it? Nothing. Okay. Alright, but what is this? And is it going to kill me? Watch, it's going to one-shot me right in the face. No? Oh. Do they spawn in there? Like, oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Can I destroy it? No. There's another one. I'm trying to look under the cliff I'm standing on. Okay, yeah, so I can't get to the bridge at all. Okay. Interesting, though, that that they have these. Like, why didn't they just... Like, is this a whole second tribe? Or a third tribe, I guess? Can't even land on it. Okay, let's fly away. There's one up there, too. Oh, dude, I wonder if they shoot it. Like, if I had a bird, I wonder if they shoot at the birds. Okay, I probably can't go that way either. Well, let's go down here to the road, see what's in the road. It's like nothing. Nothing in the road. Oh, hi. Jesus. Oh, a tarantula hawk. Okay, okay, you're new. You're new. You fight like a wasp. Okay. Okay. I'm missing. Are you tameable? Cause I like your red wings, buddy. Reddish wings, more like poop brown. He's not tameable. I think it would already said I could tame him. Oh, he got me. Need to get stamina back. Got insect wings, insect wings, more insect wings. Can't even see the rest of the stuff. I'm assuming those are poison glands. Um, let's see. Uh, we have tons of fiber. Let's get rid of that. And then poison glands. And yeah, that's fine. So where was he though? I hear another one too. It's 
not creepy at all. Sorry, I had to cough. <clears throat> Is that a snake? Or a worm? That is, that's a snake or a glitch. Might have been a glitch. Probably just a glitch. No, that's, that's a snake. I did not know there was a snake in the game. You're probably way too high of a level for me to kill. Or not high of a level, but too strong. I only have three things to heal with. YOLO. Right? Right, guys? YOLO. Oh, you're so big. How is he going to attack me? Those are going to try to coil me up. There's also a spider over there, so let's fight you over here. Something back there that's big. Oh, and you see me already, too, don't you? You don't. Okay. Oh, you look... You have teeth? You have teeth, buddy? You gonna turn around? No? I don't like the noise you're making. Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. Friendly? Oh, not friendly. You're a viper. You hit hard. Nope. Nope. Not doing this. Not doing this. Nope. That's a big nope. Nobody nope. He's probably still right behind me. Oh, he's a little bit slow. Okay. Alright, so... There's snakes in the game, guys. I kind of wanted to look at that, that spider that was back there, too, though. Like, it was red and black, guys. I don't know if I can tame it. Gotta have everything red and black, you know? I just realized we've been picking up wood too. We could drop all the wood. Not the iron wood, but like the regular wood. For now, we will take it. Alright, scorpions. That's what the black hole was back there. Just a spawn point for them. So be a whole bunch of iron wood right here. So let's do this. We're going to drop the regular wood. We're going to drop the fiber. And then we're going to split stack, confirm, boom, split stack, confirm, boom, there we go. That way when we pick up the, uh, the iron wood, it'll only pick up the iron wood and not the fiber and the regular wood. Can we break down these big ones? We can. How much do they drop? One piece, wow. So the small ones drop two? No, small ones want to drop one as well. I guess it's just random. That one dropped two. That's one. 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 Uh, one. Two. One, I think. Whole bunch because we broke down three at one time. All right, let's pick up all this iron wood here. Come on. Hey, yo. Whole bunch of stuff that I don't need. Uh. We have room for more sulfur. Guess we can get that ironwood over there too. <clears throat> okay, so found out a couple new things. So there's scorpions in the game. There's at least one snake. Um, tarantulas. Tarantula hawks. Um, spawners for the village people. Yep, that's what I said, the village people.
Is it just me, or are you guys hearing, like, little chitters from bugs, too? And there's nothing around. What is that? Oh, it's just more of the tree stuff. Oh, there's a thing over here. Are they going to spawn in while I'm getting this? If they spawn in, I'm not grabbing this. Let's make sure there's nothing else around me. All right, let's see if they spawn in real quick. I think we're good. May as well pick it up before. That way, um, if they do spawn in, we at least have whatever we have because we're just going to run if they spawn in. <clears throat> the video is getting kind of long. I'm trying to, trying to get as much as we can here, and then we're going to bail. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, he just spawned in. Does he know we're here? I don't think he does. He doesn't. Okay. We're going to grab this too. Interesting that he doesn't turn around and be like, what's that chopping sound over there? All right, let's run away. More scorpion over there. What is that? Uh, that's one of those beetles. We had enough scorpion today. We're not going to mess with them again. Dude, I wonder if you can get the head from that, um, that snake, that viper. Imagine having that mounted on your wall. Like as a little person. That'd be crazy as a small folk. Because that thing was huge. I don't know, at least, at least it feels like they sized everything right. I don't know about these beetles, because I've never seen one of those in real life. But, like, the snake compared to the bird, compared to, like, the scorpion, compared to, like, the vehicles. Like, it seems like everything's the, the correct size. I don't know about, that's a big-ass beetle, though. I don't think I've ever seen a beetle as big as a scorpion. The, the beetles might be a little exaggerated. But I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, never seen one, so I could be completely wrong. They might even be bigger. Who knows? Seen some of the stuff over in Australia? Yeah, you guys got some crazy stuff over there. I haven't even looked at the map. Let's take a look at the map here. Dude, there's still so much more. Oh! Who the hell is Sarnak? That's not who we're looking for, is it? I thought that we were looking for someone else. I thought we were looking for M Melkar? M-E-L-K-A-R, I think? Who's Sarnak? I don't remember a Sarnak in the story. I'm going to have to go back and watch my own videos. How much of this do we have? Um, we can get a little bit more, eight more pieces. There's two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, we're short one, right? Yeah. Okay, that's not bad, though. It feels like we got so much more iron wood than that, but I mean, I guess. There's another scorpion. What's over there? Sulfur? Is that more sulfur? It is. Is that a hole in the ground? What's under here? Oh. Wait, what is that? That's not sulfur, is it? Kind of scared to go in there. It might be sulfur. It's 
there a tunnel that goes down? So, I mean, I can jump down in there, but the thing is, how do I get out? They're probably over there. Let's go around this way. You gotta be careful. We're gonna get snuck up on by another snake or something. What is that? Oh, it's, yeah, so it's a tarantula. They weren't tameable, though, were they? The tarantula? I don't think it was tameable. Which kind of sucks. But. Okay, yeah, see, it looks like it goes back underground right here. Like there's a crack in the ground right there, so. That's probably where we go down in. At the end, I mean, like over there by the water, it looks like. Here's some more sulfur. Go ahead and get uh, one of these. Oh, well, I tried to get a smaller one so that, that wasn't an issue, but all right, I guess those two pieces are just going to stay there. What's that? Oh, it's a person. So I would have to fight my way down in there and probably fight my way back out. Okay, so we know where sulfur is if we need sulfur. Right, let's go to at least take a look in here, I guess. I was thinking it was only one guy. Is that a little house right there? Looks like a little house. It's also dark in here. Alright, yeah, you're gonna come running at me. Yeah, I know. Cool story, bruh. That's not sulfur. What is that? And why do I feel like I'm not alone in here other than those guys? What is this? Salt? Saltpeter? Needs an iron pickaxe or better. Um, let's drop. This? Yeah, let's drop the resin. We have resin. All right. Refined saltpeter. So this is just going to help us make some stuff, I guess. More potion stuff. Less deep water. This is where we were. I'm surprised there's no creatures down here. I mean, yeah, that we passed the little guys, but, like, where's all the stuff that's going to eat us? I hope I didn't speak too soon. It looks like if I go over there, I can't get back. How deep is the water? Oh, that just drops straight off, doesn't it? Dude, it looks like there's a tunnel over there. There's something there. There's got to be, right? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Get up there. Get up there. Oh. This was the dumbest thing to do. Because now I'm not going to get back. There's no way. Alright, well. I guess we're not going any further. I'm going to go ahead and teleport home from here. Um, because I don't want to lose all the stuff that I got. But yeah, um, so that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything of that nature, go ahead and put it down in the comment section. Um, let me know what you guys think of the game thus far. We are coming closer and closer to the end. So, um, 
I think once we get to the end, we finish up the story, we'll probably just go into some multiplayer games. I'm not going to attack people or anything unless they're like complete a-holes or something like that. But I think we'll just have fun, help people out, do some world events with our bird. Because I'm assuming we'll have a bird by then. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... I like it. It's a pretty decent game. Uh, let's go ahead and put down our last army guy here. Gonna rotate you, spin you around, point you so you're looking. Okay, well, uh, right there. Trying to get his gun and the way he's looking facing the way out. Because I was gonna put him here, but he looked a little bit off. All right, um, now we can put up all the stuff we got so. Any food items can go in here, which is that. Okay. Um, that's armor and stuff. That's flower stuff. So this, this, and the seeds. And the ricey mushrooms. I think that's it. Here, nothing. That one's empty. No. We can do all the chitin, including the scorpion chitin now. Um, chitin. Whoops, whoops. And then we'll sort it. So I figured out how the sort works. It is uh, not that anyone cares or that it was hard to figure out, um, but it's basically alphabetical order. Um, that's how it sorts it. That's how it filters it. So basically, because beetle heart starts with a B and roach meat starts with an R, that's how they're sorted. So, in case anyone's wondering. Um, I think we're good there. That's one I was just... Wait, if that's one I was looking at, what was this bottom one? Okay, what's going on? Oh, there we go. I was like, what's going on here? They're pranking me. Okay, the wings, the poison glands, um, I think that's it, yeah, uh, and here we can do spider stuff, so just the one head, and what is this again, saltpeter, so not that, uh, nothing else there, This is where the stink glands go. We're up to nine. We don't have any ant stuff. Um, we can put the sulfur in here and the saltpeter, I guess. I don't know where else to put it. I mean, I do have empty ones, but I still want to keep it. Some of the stuff together. Um, in fact, where's that? Uh, where's the bee stuff? Here we go. Yeah, so in here with the bee stuff, we'll put scorpion stuff, because we've only got one thing from the scorpion. Well, I mean, technically we got two, but it's chitin. The chitin's going to go with chitin. In here, we will put these. I think I put the other one I have somewhere else. But these are like quest items, so I'll put those in there. If we find the other one that we have, then I'll move it. Um, wood can go with wood. This is the iron wood. And then I don't know where I put the hoots that I had. I think I used all the hoots that I had. We'll put them in here with the quest stuff. All right, and then let's see if we can find the other chest piece real quick. Because I'm pretty sure I had at least one other one. Oh, there's the hoots. So. Hoots. Oops. There we go. No, no, no. Do you think they... Oh, there they are. I would say, do you think they reset every time? Because that would suck. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we have two of these. Interesting, so you can find multiple ones. 
Okay. All right, and then let's go repair our armor and everything, which we're probably gonna need materials. Oops. Okay, so we need a whole bunch of stuff for that. All right, um, let's take a look at our crafting stuff real quick. Um, so nothing there. Uh, swords. I never made a new bow. I never made a blowgun. What's this, the new stuff we can make in here? Um, greater stamina tonic. Is that a new one? Sink bomb. We could already make those. The refined sulfur, a fine yellow powder made from breaking down sulfur. Okay. And then saltpeter, same thing. Saltpeter uh, crystals, which have been broken down into a fine powder. But what do they do? What do I use them for? Come on now. I don't use the gravel. Tannery, nothing new. Nothing new in there. So everything else, I guess, would be here. So we need the pyrite pickaxe. That takes ironwood. And there's rishi leather. Um... That's the only new thing, really? That's the only thing that we need the, uh... Well, no, we have the pyrite hatchet. So, yeah, the only thing that we need the ironwood for is the pyrite pickaxe. Because I'm not... I don't plan on making anything else. Huh. So we didn't even need as much as we got. All right. Well, like I said, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you all for joining me. Um, you know what to do in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.